Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore. Uh, and today we're going to look at two popular messaging apps called Byte SMS and Messages Plus. Uh, Byte's been a big player uh, when it comes to messaging enhancements for iPhone for the past several years. Uh, now it's got some new competition in town. Uh, I've got Messages Plus loaded up right now. Uh, Messages Plus is by Inteliborn. And they're the makers of IntelliScreen and IntelliScreen X, as well as several other tweaks. Um, Messages Plus comes built into IntelliScreen X, so if you have IntelliScreen X, you already have uh, Messages Plus. If you don't have IntelliScreen X, you can purchase Messages Plus in the Cydia App Store for, I believe, $7.99, where Byte, I believe, you can download it for free with ads, otherwise it's $9.99. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is walk through Messages Plus, what the features are, how you configure it. Um, there's really not a lot to configure. If you download just the app, you're going to have an icon you can pop in and enable, disable it, whatnot. Um, if you have IntelliScreen X or Lock Info, it should integrate right in here in the bottom. I don't think it'll integrate into Lock Info. Uh, Byte will. I'm not sure about Messages Plus. You can still use the Quick Reply through Activator. Uh, so as you can see down here, I have a tiny little Messages icon. I can tap that and a quick message will come up. So I can type in who I want to type something to and I can go ahead and send a message and off it goes. Uh, alternately I've set up a quick reply here so all I have to do is double tap my status bar and this message comes up. Um, Alternately, what I can do is when a message comes up or someone sends me a message, what it'll do is it'll pop up, it automatically brings the quick reply window up. Uh, as far as settings go for Messages Plus, you don't really have too many. Where you're going to find them is um, under here. I have it under IntelliScreen X, otherwise you're going to find it under Messages Plus. Um, there's really not a lot of settings. Uh, you're going to see extension. Messages Plus or uh, Apple Messages. For Messages Plus, you can set a manual banner dismiss, which basically means that when your banners pop up here, um, you'll have a little X over in the right-hand corner, and they'll stay there until you close them out. I personally don't like that. I like that they roll away after a certain period of time. Um, you can also enable or disable close on reply, which basically means once you reply to someone, the window will automatically close or it won't. I have it enabled, so I send a message, it's on its way, the window closes, I don't have to do anything else. Uh, really, that's the only settings you need to enable. Uh, to set up a quick, uh, a quick reply gesture, for those of you that don't know how to do it, uh, this would be the same for Byte SMS or uh, Quick Reply for Messages Plus. You pop into Activator here. Um, I go to Anywhere. And I have mine set to uh, double tap on my status bar. You can set any gesture you want for Byte SMS or Messages Plus. Um, so you basically just select one of these. So status bar, double tap. I have it assigned to Messages Plus. So basically um, what that does is when I double tap on my status bar, it will bring up my Messages Plus and I can send a message from anywhere. So if I'm in Safari or whatever app and I don't want to pop out to send a text message, I can quickly do it like that. Um, I can also do it from my lock screen through IntelliScreen X um, or I can just double tap in the status bar, I believe, if that's not on. Yeah. So, or if you have IntelliScreen X, you'll see the little uh, icon down in the corner for the pull down and that does the same thing. Uh, now we'll load up Byte SMS and see how it stacks up. Alright, so I've went ahead and loaded Byte SMS up on my phone instead of Messages Plus. Uh, one key difference I do want to point out here, uh, if you're debating between Lock Info and IntelliScreen X but you still want to be able to use either or, IntelliScreen X does integrate with Byte SMS as well. You can just uh, disable Messages Plus and use Byte SMS. When it's installed, um, you should be good to go. Uh, I do not believe Lock Info allows integration with Messages Plus yet, or if that's something that they're going to add eventually, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so we'll look at some differences here with uh, Byte SMS here. Um, let's pop into settings. Okay, so one big key difference here is if you use Byte SMS credits, you're going to want to stick with Byte. Um, if you send a lot of international messages, the credits are a lot cheaper than what uh, your mobile carrier probably charges you. Uh, not an issue for me, but um, you can overwrite a send method. So you can set things for per contact uh, carrier plan rules 
which is nice. Uh, Byte does have a lot more customization and functionality than Messages Plus, but if you just want something that's quick, sleek, integrates into iOS 5 uh, pretty much perfectly, uh, Messages Plus is perfect. But if you need more functionality, uh, you might want to go with something like Byte SMS. I believe Byte SMS is 10 bucks if you want it without ads, otherwise you can download it and have ads um, for free. So uh, when you pop into Quick Compose, you've got a couple different options here. Launch method, you can use Activator. Um, you can choose when the Quick Compose window pops up if you want um, it to auto show favorites or default to the last person you texted, um, show recents or none. Um, you can configure the buttons for this in what order you want them in. So you can edit these and what order you want them to appear in. So say I want send first or whatnot, and you can scroll through those. Um, so we'll go and we'll do none for now. And I will show you how this works. So you can swipe down. I can open a quick compose window and I can tab through the different, um, basically the different features that uh, Byte SMS offers. Templates, uh, you can pop it up, um, whatnot. And then, I don't have any templates, so that's not going to work. I can just go right in here, uh, type a name of whoever I want to write to. Um, so I have Heather put in here, and it will automatically, you notice this little pull down, I can pull down our recent conversations, um, whatnot. You can also do this, uh, Messages Plus will show you. You can scroll through. You can also open attachments in both. So uh, not a huge deal. I have noticed a lot of people saying when they're using IntelliScreen X, their pop-ups for Byte are still coming on. Um, I'll show you real quick how to disable that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop into settings and we're going to go to I believe more stuff. Quick reply. Auto show quick reply. If you turn that off, it will not show that on the lock screen. So that's the setting you want to tick off if you do not want it to populate in its own quick reply window and you just want it to show in your messages list. Um, overall, these two programs are both great at what they do. Uh, really, what you're going to want to choose from is whichever one suits what you need more. If you need more custom customizations, you're probably going to want to go with something like Byte SMS. If you just want the quick reply um, features and you want it to tie tight into the default messages app and you don't want to have an extra icon, as you can see, Byte SMS does have an extra icon. It does give you the option to hide. Um, the default messages icon. You can do it either through SB settings or through uh, Byte SMS itself. Either way, both are good options. Uh, you're going to want to choose whichever one's right for you. I prefer Messages Plus because I really just want the quick reply. I don't want to have to be interrupted doing what I'm doing. I don't need the text message credits or I don't need as many customizations as Byte offers. But it is a great client and if you like to have more control over how your messages interact or how you interact with them, uh, then I would definitely say bite. But uh, let us know what you use, and uh, if you have questions, let us know, and make sure you check out the iMore Jailbreak forums.